Humpty Dumpty Brewers Reserve Brown Ale. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Boys Reviews. The sun hasn't come out. Yes, my skin is safe for another day. I've got a bottle of this stuff. Um, got it off Beers of Europe, Humpty Dumpty Brewers Reserve, and it's the first beer I've had from the Humpty Dumpty Brewery. They're based in Norfolk, and uh, I was looking at their sort of core range. They brew a hell of a lot of different beers and they do seasonal stuff they have a core range and they do uh in you know because of all this lockdown and stuff they're doing deliveries they also do um uh, cask deliveries too which is interesting um but i picked this up because it looks quite interesting it's a seven percent um strong brown ale now i love brown ale it is one of my favorites not that shit you get from Newcastle though. I cannot fucking stand that. But what I do like is uh, the Anarchy Brewery Brown Ale. That is lovely. Uh, the uh, Sam Smith's Nut Brown Ale. They're two that really stand out for me. And of course, Brown Ale is, um, it's, it's uniquely British. Yeah, there's other countries that do Brown Ales. Belgium do their Bruins. Um, but British Brown Ale for me, I think is the best. Um, yeah, so I've never tried this before. Um, I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping it's going to be something like the um, Shepherd Neem uh, 1698. Is it 1698? Yeah, Shepherd Neem 1698 or the Fuller's 1845. I'm hoping it's going to be that sort of strong ale variety, but I won't know till I see what's inside it. I say it's 7%, it is a brown ale from Humpty Dumpty. On the side of the bottle, the description that they give is um, located at Reedham in the heart of uh, picture, picturesque Norfolk Broads. Yeah, the Norfolk Broads, very well known in Britain for, um, they're, they're basically sort of canal sort of network. Uh, the Humpty Dumpty Brewery is has been producing quality real ales from fine ingredients since 1998. Have a look on their website, see how many camera awards they've won. This stuff alone has won quite a, quite a lot of awards, so yeah, they they sound like a good one. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. Uh, um, Brewers Reserve is an award-winning strong brown ale with an American hop profile. Bottle aged to perfection, right, yeah. So this is bottle conditioned. You'd expect that at sort of 7%. Um, it's got a little thing on the side there. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says camera says this is a real ale, which is a good sign that camera are giving this recognition. This real, real ale in a bottle is unpasteurized and contains live yeast. Store upright, pour carefully in one long pour, leaving the sediment behind. Now, in the past, I've always put the sediment in the bottle into the glass obviously you do that with your wheat beers and um some of the some of the other live um cultures that you get in the belgian stuff i always put that in there too the british stuff they say not to do that and i've done it in the past with this one i'm going to make an exception and see what gives so without further ado i'm going to get this open The cap lifter. I'm using the cap lifter as an American survivalist and woodsman described um, a bottle opener on an axe today in a review I was looking at. So that is the cap lifter from now on, not a bottle opener. Mm. God, it smells nice. I can 
get a waft of it here, but I'm getting it off the cap as well. What's on the nose out of the bowl? Oh my God, that smells absolutely gorgeous. Thick, strong, toffee malt. A touch of coffee on there. Um, it smells almost like a porter. The malt is really strong in this stuff, really strong toffee malt. Mmm, interesting. Right, let's get it all out in one hit. Leaving a little bit in the bottom with the sediment in. I'm going to try and get ahead on this because at 7% you're not going to get much of it. Right, there is a little touch in, oh look, yeah, I can see, I can see some residue at the bottom there. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Can you, oh, you probably can actually, can you see all that? That is all the yeast. I'm leaving that there. That's not going to go in the glass. Now that's the best I could do with the head. That is dark. That is a very, very dark, murky, brown looking beer. And it's... It's not got much of a head. I'm not really, I wasn't really expecting a head um, at 7%. Let's see what we got on the nose. Oh, this smells absolutely gorgeous. There is a mass of toffee malt on that. And it does smell strong. It smells almost like a barley wine. Now I've got it in the glass. Mm, cannot wait to try this. Cheers. Cool. That is gorgeous. Oh, the malt on this is amazing. Really strong toffee malt bitterness, which I'm assuming is coming from the hops, the American style profile hops. But it's spicy as well. There is a lot of spice on that, like um, like white pepper. There's like a dark, very dark, 100% cocoa type chocolate bitterness on the arse end of it as well. And there is a touch of spirit alcohol on that too, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It is so rich and full bodied. This is really nice. It's almost like It's almost like there's chocolate malt, toffee malt, dark fruit, and spice on top of that balanced out. But the chocolate malt on the end, the bitter chocolate malt, is dominating. So it's almost like a, a sort of a porter. It's got this sort of bordering on that. Um, I don't know if it's true, but this was rebadged as a Christmas ale. And if it was, I can see why. Because it has got a lot of dark fruit on that. And it honestly, it honestly doesn't look much when it's in the glass. I mean, you, can you see that? That is like a murky brown color. It's almost like a Belgian double in appearance. Mm, it's really nice. If you're a fan of strong ale, um, barley wine to an extent, but you haven't got the high alcohol that you get in barley wine, or you're a fan of porter, you know, like in bitter chocolate porters, it, it's a mixture of all three. And of course you've got the 
sort of brown ale element to it as well with the toffee malt. That's really nice. In a blindfold test, I'd actually say that was a porter or a Belgian double, one of the two. I think I would probably, it would probably dawn on me that it wasn't a Belgian double because it hasn't got the sweetness of a Belgian double. There's no added sugar in there that I can get. And uh, it's, yeah, it's it may not be for everyone, but I love this type of beer. This is really good. It's just like a strong British ale. I know they call it a strong brown ale, but it is in the same milk as the 1845 and the Shepherd Neem stuff, which is what I was expecting. Now, every decent brewer worth his salt will do a, a beer of that style. Most British brewers do it, the decent ones anyway. And I, was, and I imagine this is their effort, which, they, which also doubles up as a Christmas ale, and I can sort of get that as well. It's really good. I really like this. Mm. There's like jam on there now. It's like jammy, marmalade type. As I say, it's like a... We're, we're, the, the Christmas ale, you know, you're getting them sort of Christmassy flavours like you do from mince pies, you know, with the chopped up mince meat and the rind, you know, you get orange rind in it as well. I'm sort of getting that now. And the jam as well, like a a dark fruit jam. Really nice, really recommend this. 7%, you've got to take a little bit of, um, a little bit of respect, you know, you can't neck this. But it's a good, I like it, from a British brewer. So what's the verdict? Yeah, good stuff. This is a winner for me. Uh, first beer from Humpty Dumpty Brewery. Um, not going to be the last if they're anything like this. Um, I really like this. This has got everything a decent British beer should have. Tons of malt, tons of toffee, some chocolate malt on the end, dark fruit, bit of spice, and yeah, just all balanced out. Um, it may not be for everyone. It is, it is a strong bodied British ale. Some people don't like that. They like the lighter sort of ales, more more drinkable ales. This is one to be savoured. Usually, or I'd say, on a on a winter's night in front of a fire, not in the middle of summer, but it's good. I, I love it, I absolutely love this. Mm. God. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. And I'm definitely gonna recommend it. I think it was 377 a bottle. Don't let the price put you off. This is one to be savoured, if you like beer with flavour this is one of them that is a nine out of ten and i recommend it and remember beer is working class champagne <laughs>